But after seemingly snubbing the chance to make his West Ham move permanent, and I'm talking about Jesse Lingard, would West Ham fans welcome Jesse back with open arms if he is to move in this window? It was interesting. Stuart Pierce, who works with Moisey, of course, yeah. at West Ham, he was on there uh, yesterday with Alan McCoist, and he spoke about Lingard and West Ham. There's no doubt that I think out there at this moment in time that Jesse is a commodity that isn't playing for his football club that will be of a benefit of a lot of clubs in yeah. the Premier League. That will be my personal opinion. Els is certainly one of them. Everyone's aware that we tried to get Jesse back again last summer, you know, and, and that will continue probably in this window as well. But that's down to Jesse. Jesse's got six months of his contract left. He'll decide, and Manchester United, more importantly, will decide what his future is for the next six months. I always feel as though it's a real shame when a player of that talent is probably not playing regularly absolutely you know? and especially his contribution he come and joined us and he had a, a wonderful six months and got himself back in the England yeah, fold as well yeah. so it's helped Gareth as well so listen I'll be delighted if he goes and plays wherever he goes and plays if he turns up at West Ham over the next three or four days it'll be utopia <laughs> I love Stuart Pearce um, should we is it wrong for us to question all right why would he want to go to West Ham now when he didn't in the summer? Um, I think maybe he believed he'd play his way back into the Manchester United team with his performances at West Ham. I think his performances, his goals, the impact that he had, um, the fact that he got back in the England squad and was being um, given an opportunity by Gareth. He might have thought, yeah, you know, I've done enough now to earn a place back at Manchester United. Um, that wasn't the case. I think the fact that Ronaldo went back to Manchester United... I think that had a factor on him not staying at West Ham. Really? I really do, yeah. That's what I, that's what I heard. Um, which you, you can understand that if you're going to play, so, you know, obviously a superstar, one of the best players to play the game and being in the same pitch, same team and um, on the same pitch as him would be great. It didn't work out that way. I don't think he'll go to West Ham. Um, you don't? This, this window. Where's he going to go? Don't say New... Is it Newcastle? Possibly. Yeah. I think he, he, he'd definitely give them a lot. I think goals, um, confidence, he's got an aura about But why would he go him. to West Ham? Well, I don't think... They loved Man him there I, when he did so well for them. Listen, I think he would go and I think uh, West Ham would take him. I don't think Manchester United would pass him over to a rival for the top four and I think that's what West Ham are at the moment. So I don't think he's going to go to West Ham in this window. He could go at the end of the season but I actually think he's going to run his contract down. Whether he goes on loan somewhere for three or four months till the end of the season and then goes to West Ham or goes on loan somewhere... And then goes to another another club. But I'd, I, listen, I was disappointed that he didn't stay at West Ham. I want to see good players playing, like, like yeah. what Stuart Pearce said. There. Of you want to see him playing the trade in the Premier League and playing football matches. I mean, Simon, I raised an eyebrow at this when I heard that there are suggestions that Lingard Camp became frustrated with his treatment from Manchester United for not greenlighting a loan move away from the club yet. You know, they're somewhat frustrated that it hasn't happened yet. I mean... <laughs> I think I think the more likely situation is is that he wanted to go back to Man United, wanted a contract with Renault United with an increased pay rise, wasn't getting off of that opportunity, and now realizes that the bigger picture for him financially is to run his contract down, go on a free, and get all the cost implications of buying him in his salary. Now, why that stops him from going out on loan, I don't know. You know, there might be an argument, and Trevor makes a very salient point that going to West Ham could be conceived as a competition. I don't think it will be. I think they think West Ham will trouble the top four. I think they'll probably finish sixth or seventh, and even that is a very good achievement. Mm. And I think going to Newcastle, even though it's a project, right, yes. will sit him in a situation <laughs> where he's pigeonholed himself at the bottom of the league. And there is an idea, you know, unless he's going to sign for Newcastle. You know, you start to wonder why he'd want to keep sort of putting himself out as as a gun for hire on short term contracts. You know, he's still a, arguably a top footballer. He's still in a situation where he was in and around the England squad last year and only missed the cut, didn't he? Yeah. So with that in mind, you would have thought that there must be a bigger picture for him. But not playing football doesn't help him. So it might be Trevor might be absolutely right that United won't let him go to um, to West Ham. I was listening to um, various news reports yesterday talking about a three and a half million pound loan fee being agreed and Newcastle being happy to pay it. And then all of a sudden there was a change that there was a bigger loan fee being required and Newcastle weren't happy to pay for it. Yeah. yeah. I think Newcastle, if they want players like Jesse Lingard that have got no reason to go to Newcastle, I've got a peel, get off the pot. They're right. going to have to pay what people want. Right. Well, he'll, pr he'll probably move in this window and we, we will find out more in the fullness of time. Okay, the fullness of time is fast approaching. It could well be uh, mm, late, late, late on <clears> Monday, <throat> but we'll watch it with interest. We're coming up to half 11. Jim White and Simon Jordan. 
Monday to Friday mornings from 10 on AM, on DAB, via the TalkSport app and on your smart speaker. TalkSport.